Game 2, Game 2 between Sugo and Jayun. Jayun able to close out Game 1. Bottom right hand corner, Sugo starting as the white, sorry, as the yellow Protoss, bottom left hand corner, Jayun starting as the white Protoss. I believe this is similar colors. Oh shoot, did I just do something? No, okay, still recording. Sorry, everybody. Sorry for the quick black screen. Ah! I hit pause accidentally there, and that's what happened. I have a little bit of COVID brain going on, as I was actually just regaling chat. On Vermeer, wanted to check the map and do a map reveal, which was totally unnecessary. <laughs> uh, oh well. Anyway, bottom right hand corner. So Suko actually putting up a pretty good fight game one. I feel like there were multiple moments where it could have gone either direction. If Sugo had reinforced, potentially, with additional dra a Dragoon or two, or maybe even played a little bit more staggered with his Dragoon army at the natural expansion to get a free Dragoon hit or kept an eye and gotten a free Dragoon hit or two before exiting with the Dragoon army uh, in the early stages, he might have been able to flip that right around. Um, trying to think of other key moments in that game. Really, Jayun's map movement in the mid game and also utilizing zealots to minimize the observer need and keep an eye on Suko's army throughout the mid stages of the map was just stellar is really what it came down to. I feel like that's what won him the game. Gateway opener on both ends. Neither player going to try to risk the 12 Nexus. And it looks like so Suko going to scout top right initially, Jayun scouting top left. So both players going to end up in the dark on either side. Jayun tacking on, well, okay, yeah, tacking on. A gas to start. Sugo has a double gateway opener. So wants to apply pressure to Jayun to start. We'll see how it plays out. Oftentimes this is a test of early game micro. Many times doing the two gate opener <clears throat> if you just dedicate the, excuse me, <clears throat> initial three zealots, or sometimes just even the initial, sometimes between three and five, you can kill enough probes and still have enough, end up economically ahead and still end up in a pretty solid position as far as moving things across. Jayun going for top left scout and then cross to bottom right. Let's see if the initial zealot just blockades the ramp though, or if it go, yeah, he's just going to go for a, a Ramp blockade. We do have the cybernetic score morphing opposite side. So Jayun not going to be in time to scout this. <clears throat> it's going to keep that probe around. Two additional zealots in construction. No gas as of yet. So it looks like it's going to be a five dedication rather than a three from Sugo. Usually that gas timing is a pretty good indicator. First Dragoon in construction. A zealot on his side of the ramp as well. The initial three zealots starting to move out and seeing more than one zealot, the big indicator, and it looks like he's going to ignore that probe altogether. So that probe going to be able to walk up now grabbing that assimilator. So Jane knows it's going to be initial five zealots and dropping the shield battery to try to defend this. So he's going to have a single zealot and a dragoon with the shield battery to support to try to hold the stem the tide versus those three zealots and two of his brethren along the edge. Probe moving its way out, so it looks like he's not going to go for any sort of pylon blockade. The Dragoon on the low ground getting a free few shots off the Zealot. Some nice defense thus far. Chasing those Zealots away. The Dragoon needs to be a little bit careful this deep. Because now, yeah, in a situation where it potentially could get surrounded, second Dragoon up on the high ground, all five Zealots grouped up. Jayun also has one of his zealots that's kind of breached out. Doing a good job of taxing Sugo's micro right here. And he might be able to, yeah, should defend it with what he's got. A little bit of recharge. The zealot's now breached. One zealot engaging the zealot on the low ground. It should win that fight. Heads up. Four zealots now marching in, able to disrupt some gas. Got one probe kill right there. Yeah, and he's going to shoot. Well, did he move back to the... Okay, now has the shield recharge, so should win that fight over there. Probes pulling off the line. This is, again, allowing Sugo to just continue to build probes. You can see ending up economically ahead at the end of this and getting... Ooh, getting a lot of probe kills, actually. Now, as, uh, as far as a follow-up. So, Jayun down five workers, but he does have the three Dragoon single zealot advantage right this second. Unfortunately, though, it ends up in a situation where if he does go for a counterattack... 
by the time he reaches that base, there are going to be four. And Jayun trying to follow this up, recognizing he's in a disadvantageous economic position, going to go ahead and drop the Templar archives and hope that Sugo didn't go for exactly this. That was unusual. Went for forge and double cannon. That I was not expecting. I haven't seen a Protoss do this as far as a response in quite some time. Sugo would have been okay with just the Dragoons and the, the distance. Jayun trying to test the front. The cannon's now up on the front. One indicator for Sugo as well is, okay, these Dragoons don't have range. And, oh, four on three. And Jayun made a big misstep right there in micro. So they're going to get chased. Fourth Dragoon moving up. Going to try to turn around and get some superior focus fire. Sugo doing a nice stutter step. Jayun abusing the high ground. I'm not sure how much misfire happened there. First Dragoon goes down. Three versus two. Two versus one. And Sugo able to hold. So going to continue to hold things up. The one advantage of a Dark Templar at this stage for Jayun though is he does end up in a situation where he has a degree of map control. Where he doesn't have to worry about his natural expansion getting breached. Despite being behind on that Nexus overall. He's not going to be able to get past this cannon line. Little, little surprised by this. We are seeing a robotics facility as far as a follow-up. Are we seeing a robo on the opposite side? We see a forge opposite side for Jayun. Sometimes you'll see a robo follow-up. Observer, or sorry, probe going to walk in, find that nexus. And Dark Temple are going to be locked out. So Sugo now, three worker lead. Pretty good. Is it going to have range up? Look at this. Jayun actually really going to try to abuse that. Dark this is a little bit cheesy. Going to try to really abuse that Dark Templar's ability to seal in some map control. And he's going to go for a quick third Nexus and his cut gateway production. He's only got a single gateway. This is Danger Town now because Sugo adding two additional gateways. He's got the observatory. If he's not able to dance that Dark Templar very, very successfully, here's the thing as well is Sugo can just dedicate that Observer to his army and move it out. So this might be an auto loss build here from Jayun, getting a little bit too greedy. Photon Cannon at his natural expansion as well. He needs to get, ooh, and putting it, I think he's just assuming that it would be a Reaver follow-up. And instead we've got four gateways worth of Dragoon production plus one weapons on the way. Range going to be finished in not too long. And Jayun's just not going to have the army to defend his natural expansion, his third, or honestly, even his main. This is one gateway versus three. <clears throat> Hasn't started High Templar or Templar Tech, just now dropping that second gateway. The Observer out. Going to be able to pick off that High Templar. Uh, trying to get out of dodge. But as long as Sugo moves up to attack, come on, Sugo. As long as he groups up his army and gets aggressive right here, there's nothing Jayun can do to hold him back. There's just too massive a supply lead. Now moving out with that army. Third base not yet saturated, so it's not really going to be a factor as well. Second cannon dropped at the natural. Might help, so cannon... We also have that shield battery on the high ground, but that's still not going to save this third. If Sugo just walks up and discovers it, that'll be the other aspect is does Sugo... This might be enough army to honestly overwhelm the natural expansion. But moving up, it's going to see that there's a big gateway differential that these are just coming online. So that, yeah, big indicator to Sugo to just go. Now we'll see how this plays out. Probe's pulling off the line. More workers making their way this direction. It looks like there is a single probe trying to find if there's a third base hidden out somewhere on the map. Some zealots marching up as well. Dragoon's not moving back to the shield battery. And this is additional probes that are getting taken out for Jayun. And yeah, Sugo just has too much of a army lead right here. One cannon down, second cannon's going to be out. And this is now maybe five gateways to work, but there's just... As long as Sugo reinforces... Oh, and that was on a high Templar that does not have Psy Storm. So even with the shield recharge, yeah, that's going to be completely breached. 
So Zuko can just take the wins, wipe out the natural expansion. Jayun looks like he's managed to get some workers there at the third, but even even with that, sugo has got it. So should be momentarily uh, momentary before this nexus is wiped out. Let's see if Su uh, Sugo discovers the third as well. He's just got too massive a worker lead. Just too many workers is the other aspect got wiped out. In between all this, Sugo also has pinned back a lot of those units. Maybe. Emergency Dark Templar wouldn't cut it as well. Sugu now pulling back. He's going to drop his own third Nexus top left. Single Probe still sneaking here at the 6 o'clock, moving out with another army. See if he just goes for a breach right here. He's still double, nearly doubling Jayun's army composition. High ground might not be enough. Looks like he's now discovered that third. Yeah, that might have been a little bit of a surprise. Wandering Dragoon finds the third is I think what happened right there. And Jamie gonna GG because there is no way. No way. Sugo takes game two. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.